Okay, so I know you guys already saw the final product, but I'm actually sitting here and I have no clue exactly what I'm going to do. So I saw some things on the Dollar Tree websites about how they make this cute little thing with the butter dish and the salt and pepper shakers and the flowers coming out. But I did notice that I bought the plastic salt and pepper shakers instead of the glass ones, which everyone was using. So anyways, I have the butter dish and three salt and pepper shakers. And the idea is, is to put it in here like this and put these in here and then put flowers coming out of it. So at this point, I know you guys already, I showed you the picture in the beginning of the actual ending product, but I have no clue what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so uh, what I'm gonna do, or my plan is, is I am going to paint all this stuff with this white chalk paint that I have, that I got from Walmart. It's a matte finish chalk paint. I'm gonna paint all this white and I am going to decorate it and put flowers in the salt and pepper shakers. So, that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, so I opened up my chalk paint and I've heard that the foam brush works best. So I am going to start painting the butter dish with the chalk paint. And we're just gonna see what happens. I guess so far it looks okay. Looks like I'm probably going to need another coat. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this and probably the tray. And these were actually the tops of the salt and pepper shakers I'm not going to use. So I am going to get a coat of paint on all this and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I have the first coat of paint on there and it's looking kind of shabby. So I think I am going to put another coat on. I did paint on the insides of the salt and pepper shakers and a little bit on the insides of the tray, but it looks really, really thin with a lot of edges sewing. So I think I am going to go ahead and put a second coat on. Okay, so at this point I have two coats of paint on here and it kind of has that shabby kind of look which I'm not the biggest fan of. I kind of like a solid paint color but I also like darker colors but I decided to do this in white so I actually think it's not looking that bad. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might just leave it at this and not do another coat. Okay, so at this point, I do have two coats of paint on there. And even though it's kind of showing through, it's really hard to get the paint and the divots. But I think at this point, I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to glue it together and decorate it. All right, I am all set to start decorating my salt and pepper shaker butter dish. So... I've got this cord from Dollar Tree, which I am planning on wrapping around and making bows on here. So I'm just going to kind of measure out about what I need. And then <clears throat> I'm going to take my hot glue gun. And put that cord on there. And I'm going to try to tie a bow on here. Right along the lip of where the salt and pepper shaker, the top would screw on to. There 
All right. So I got my bow on there. Um, I'm probably going to hot glue it so it stays straight on there. And I'm going to do that on the other three. So I thought it was a little much with the cord on all three of them. So I just put it on the two on the end. And then the next thing that I want to do is I think I'm going to take this which I got from the Dollar Tree too, and I think I'm gonna wrap it around the outside, but I'm gonna probably cut that in half or maybe a quarter, because I don't want it covering up the whole thing. All right, so I have my strip all cut off, and I'm going to hot glue this on my butter dish, hoping to get it nice and tight, because I only want to put the hot glue in the back where you're not gonna be able to see it. is the part where I burn myself. <laughs> it's always fun working with hot glue. Alright, so I'm going to try to pull this nice and tight around there and then hot glue this end on. glued on. I'm going to stick my salt and pepper shakers in here quick. All right, then the next thing that I'm going to do is I use this ring that I got at the Dollar Tree and I was going to use that to put the flowers in my salt and pepper shakers. So I did cut these off the stems already with my layer cutters. And the idea is to arrange them in there so they look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and cut more, two more sections off so I can fill in those holes. And all I did was I just took a steak knife and then just cut out a chunk. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out and put that in there and then I'm going to arrange my flowers in there. All right, so I'm trying to arrange my flowers in there, trying to get them even using the wire cutters to do the stems. And I just wanted to show you real quick. I just cut off a chunk of this tube and stuck that in there. So I'm just trying to get them as even as possible. I'm trying to do the two end ones a little bit taller than the middle one. I do notice this is moving around a lot, so I'm probably going to have to glue that down. The stem here is kind of small. And we'll just stick that one in there just a little bit. All right, so I am going to continue to try to arrange my flowers to get them to look the way that I want them to look. All right, so basically I just keep chopping my flowers down lower and lower because I'm trying to get a little bit fuller look. So I still have, I have the big flowers in there. I'm going to try to put a little more in here. Let's see how this looks. Basically you just keep arranging the flowers, I guess, till you think that they look nice. So it looks fuller. All right, well, I think that looks good. So what else can we do? Oh, I know. Okay. After rummaging through all my stuff, I finally found what I was looking for. I was looking for some Spanish moss, which I'm gonna stick in the tops of all of these in the front just to kind of fill it in. This stuff makes a mess, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. Oh, and 
I didn't even show you this before. Instead of putting a bow on it, it looked kind of plain, so I just put some cord and just wrapped it around single like that. Okay, so those are done. Now, I was kind of looking at this, and to me, this looked like maybe it was kind of a little plain. So I was just thinking, maybe if I, well, I was kind of going like this to see if that would look good, and I didn't really like that. So I was kind of thinking maybe just going in the middle all the way around. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue that on there in the middle. Okay, so I hot glued the orange cord around the butter dish and I'm gonna set my flowers in there. what I am going to do is I am going to glue down the salt and pepper shakers and glue this down the butter tray to the lid and then I should be all finished. Okay so while I was doing this I noticed that all the flowers were all kind of the same height and they were just all too bunched together so I want my end ones I think to stick up a little bit. So what I did is I cut off another foam piece and then I took my hot glue gun and then I glued another chunk in here. I think I'm gonna fill it up all the way to the top here so that when I put it in, my flowers are gonna stick up a little higher on the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to both of my end ones and then I'm going to take my E6000 and I'm going to glue it all together and then I will be finished. All right, I have everything glued down and it is finished. I hope you all like my tutorial. Um, just wanted to mention that all of the everything that I bought here is all Dollar Tree.